Hello everybody, Seabrix here today with yet another LEGO Star Wars video. Today I'm counting down the top 15 LEGO Star Wars helmet sets that I would like to see made. There's only been three Star Wars helmet sets officially made or leaked, being the Imperial Stormtrooper, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, and uh, Boba Fett. So this list just takes a look at some troopers or characters that I would like to see their helmets made officially in uh, the LEGO Star Wars helmet sets sometime in the near future or the far future. Doesn't really matter to me, just eventually. Kicking off our list at number 15, I have the First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, I think that this one is probably the most likely to be made if LEGO does continue making Star Wars helmet sets simply because of its mass popularity in the new... Uh, the new sequel trilogy, um, and also I just think that, you know, if since they made the Imperial Stormtrooper, there's no reason that they wouldn't make the First Order Stormtrooper. I also just think that their helmets look pretty nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was always kind of a fan of them. I know some people didn't like the sequel trilogy or the Stormtroopers at all, but personally, I liked it, and I think that they would go really well with any First Order sets that uh, we have gotten, and if you're a fan of the First Order, I think that you're really gonna want to pick this up if uh, it ever is made. Coming in at number 14, I have the Imperial Snow Trooper. Uh, I just think that these guys are super awesome. I remember seeing them for the first time in Empire Strikes Back and thinking that that was such a unique idea and I really liked the look of them. And I think that the Empire Strikes Back is a lot of people's favorite Star Wars movie. Also, I think that they just make a great addition to uh, the Imperial Helmets collection that we've already got going with the uh, Imperial Stormtrooper and the Imperial TIE Fighter, and I mean, looking, like, next to any Hoth sets, any, uh, AT-ATs or the UCS Hoth set, I think that this would make a really nice display piece, and, uh, I just would like to see how LEGO would make that helmet in general. I just think that, uh, it'd be a cool helmet to get, and a good addition to the, uh, Imperial collection. I picked the Imperial Scout Trooper. Um, these guys first appeared in Return of the Jedi, and I think that they were a lot of people's uh, favorite. I think that they just look super cool, um, and I don't know. I just love the look of these guys. Return of the Jedi is my personal favorite movie, so there could be some you know, favoritism involved in that, but I don't know. I just like the look of the Scout Troopers. I think that they're really cool. And kind of the same case as the uh, Snow Trooper, I just think that they'd look really well with the other uh, Stormtrooper and TIE Pilot helmets we've already got and be a good addition to the Imperial Helmet Collection. I just would love to see these guys made. I think that their helmets are something really unique and really cool. And uh, I just like Return of the Jedi. I think a lot of fans of Return of the Jedi would like to see these guys made. And like I said, since they did just get a new helmet uh, mold in the actual LEGO minifig form, it'd be cool to see their helmets made in the uh, LEGO helmet form. Next up at number 12, I picked the Sith Trooper. I know that we have already got a Sith Trooper bust, sort of, but that was really hard to get your hands on if you didn't go to uh, the Comic-Con. And I would just like to see them focus a lot more on just the helmet and not, you know, the upper shoulders or upper torso. I just think that the helmet's really cool. And um, another thing that really would draw me to it is that black stand, I mean, with the Sith Trooper helmet, I just think that that looks super cool. And I mean, that red color scheme would be eye-catching instantly. I mean, you walk in a room, that's the first thing you see getting a good uh, First Order helmet collection going, and, you know, I just like to see that. I think that the Sith Trooper was really cool in the Rise of Skywalker. I don't, I know they didn't do too much, but they looked super cool, and I think the minifigs look cool as well, and, uh, yeah, I just, I'd love to see that helmet made. At number 11, I picked the Imperial Death Trooper uh, from Rogue One. These guys were really cool. I like the look of them, and that all black with the black pauldrons. I think that they were super cool in Rogue One, and I think that they were pretty cool in Rebels. I'd love to see if LEGO could capture that sort of dark green eyes that they do have in Universe. And again, kind of with the Sith Trooper, I think that just that all black helmet on the all black stand would look really, really cool. But other than that, not too much to say about the Death Trooper. I just love to see the helmet made. I think it'd also go well with the Imperial Collection, and uh, it'd just be good for newer fans of Star Wars. Next up, at number 10, I picked Captain Phasma. Um, not because I really liked the character. I think that she was pretty underrated. She didn't do too much in uh, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, but I just think that her helmet, man, that was so cool. That chrome color, I just, oh, I'd love to see that helmet made. Again, with the black stand, that'd look awesome. And, uh... Next to the Sith Trooper and the Stormtrooper helmet, I mean, like I said, we got a good First Order collection going, and I'd really just like to see Captain Phasma made. I don't really know how LEGO would get that chrome color, but I think that, um, you know, I think they could use some piece, maybe develop a new color. I don't know. I just really like to see Captain Phasma made. I think that, like I said, she was pretty underrated. She didn't do too much, but she was definitely, you know, a cool character to look at. I, uh, yeah, I think that she was a really cool character. Her helmet was awesome, and I'd just love to see it made. 
At number 9, I picked the 501st Trooper. Yes, I know that we did just recently achieve the goal of getting a 501st Battle Pack, or the 501st Legion's Clone Trooper set, whatever you want to call it, but I think that uh, to celebrate that more, you know, in the future, maybe if they do ever decide to do another Clone Wars way for Season 7, uh, the 501st Trooper helmet would be awesome to see made. I don't know, I just, I love it. I think that it'd be really cool to see a Clone Trooper made and just, you know, it'd be the 501st, that'd be awesome. It also go really well with the helmet that I have later on in the list, which I will of course bring this back up. But um, yeah, I just I love to see the five hundred first trooper made. I think they were a cool trooper in Revenge of the Sith, and uh, especially over the Clone Wars and with Lego, they've definitely gained more popularity. So yeah, I'd love to see the five hundred first trooper made. At number eight, I have Phase Two Commander Cody. Um, I know we haven't actually, at the time of recording this video, at least got a Phase Two Cody in Lego minifig form. I know that it is rumored that we might get it in the UCS gunship set, but um, as of the time of recording this video, we have no information on that. But um, I just think the Phase Two Cody helmet would also be really cool to see made in Lego. I think that Cody's a pretty unique clone, um, especially in Revenge of the Sith and in the Clone Wars, being by Obi-Wan's side, and I don't know, I just think that his helmet looks really cool with all the markings on it, I think that that visor would be cool to see uh, made, and yeah, I just think that Commander Cody is a great, a great character, a good clone and commander, and I just, uh, yeah, I'd like to see him made. At number seven, I picked my personal favorite clone commander, which is Commander Gree. Um, you all know from my ATAP review, I love Commander Gree's helmet specifically. I mean, it's just that same same thing as Phasma, man. I mean, just that chrome color and then the uh, green on it would just be so cool to see made. I think that Gree definitely has one of the most unique clone helmets in Star Wars, period. Um, and I just think that he was also a pretty underrated character in Revenge of the Sith, but he, you know, he gained a little popularity in... Um, the Clone Wars, it's unfortunate we didn't get to see him in his Phase 2 form in the Clone Wars, but I just love to see Commander Gree made. I think he has a great helmet. I think his character is alright, and, uh, yeah, I just, Commander Gree, number, number 7. At number 6, I picked everyone's favorite clone captain, Captain Rex. I mean, um, yeah, I just think that with Season 7 of the Clone Wars, a Captain Rex helmet could not be more perfect. I mean, that minifig is going for, like, over 100 bucks on Bricklink, too, so, you know, to see that helmet made would be awesome. I just, everyone loves Captain Rex. He's definitely gained popularity. I just love to see his helmet made, um, and like I said, with the 501st Trooper, this is the helmet that would go along really well with that, but, uh, yeah, I'd love to see Captain Rex made the coolest story of all the clones and um yeah i just i'd love to see him made especially of course in his phase two form but yeah captain rex number six uh yeah and number five i picked one that i think would be really easy for lego to make which is jenga fett um yeah i just would love to see jenga fett made i think that'd be really easy for lego to make it specifically because all they'd have to do is really just color swap some uh pieces from the boba fett helmet and um i just I like Jango Fett. I think he was a very cool character. I mean, he is pretty important. He, he is what all of the clone troopers are based off of, so I just love to see his helmet made. I also think that if LEGO is going to release a um, Jango Fett Slave 1, that to release the Jango Fett helmet alongside with that would really be awesome. You get a cool display with that. And uh, yeah, just I would love to see Jango Fett made. I think that he was a cool character, especially in Attack of the Clones. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I just want to see him made. At number four, I picked a kind of controversial uh, choice. You can argue that it's not really a helmet, it's more a mask, but um, I'd love to see Grievous made, man. I don't know, I just, Grievous is, Grievous is such an interesting character to me, especially, you know, in the Clone Wars, in the early Clone Wars show, and then in Revenge of the Sith, um, a lot of foreshadowing there with Anakin's transformation to Vader, but Grievous was just a super, super cool character, man. He was also really cool, I just love to see that thing made. Whether it's in tan or white is a whole other conversation, I mean, I would be fine with either, but, um, you know, I just, I'd love to see that helmet made. I think that Grievous was a cool character, especially in the Clone Wars, and, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say, but, yeah, definitely Grievous. Three, I picked a more recently popular character being Mando. Um, I think that same thing as the Jenga Fett and Boba Fett helmet, all they have to do is really color swap a few things and uh, just, you know, remove the antenna. But yeah, I'd love to see Mando made. This winter, they could do a Mando helmet. It'd be super cool to see. I think that, you know, a lot of people would buy that. It would sell, sell out really quickly. But yeah, Mando is a cool character. I'm excited for season two of The Mandalorian, and i just love to see this helmet made. It'd be really nice. It'd be a nice collectible, um, and Mando's definitely going to gain more popularity, I think, when season two comes out, if, if, he, was, if he wasn't uh, already popular enough already. But yeah, number three, Mando. 
At number two, I picked Kylo Ren. Um, yeah, I just love to see Kylo Ren's helmet made, uh, especially the one from the Rise of Skywalker with the red markings. I know that might be hard to do, so, you know, if LEGO can't do that, just do the one from The Force Awakens, but I think that the one from The Rise of Skywalker would be way cooler. But yeah, Kylo was a cool character in the sequel trilogy. Whether you like the sequel trilogy or not, you have to admit, cool character. Um Arguably the most fleshed out character in the sequel trilogy, and I just uh, love to see his helmet made. I think he played a very big role in the sequel trilogy, and yeah, I just love to see his helmet made. I think he has a super cool helmet, and it'd go really well with that First Order collection we've been building throughout this list. The Kylo Ren Rise of Skywalker helmet next to the new Kylo Ren shuttle. Oh, that'd just, that'd just be super cool. Um, But yeah, number two, Kylo Ren. At number one, I picked Darth Vader. Um, I just think that it's imperative that if LEGO does keep releasing these Star Wars helmet sets, that they do a Darth Vader eventually, um, per preferably as soon as possible. I would just love to see Darth Vader made. I think that, you know, when you think of Star Wars, you think of Darth Vader. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. I don't know. I just love to see Vader made. I think he has the coolest helmet overall in Star Wars anyway. Um, definitely a very, very interesting character. And let's be honest, that helmet would just sell like hotcakes, man. I mean, it'd be sold out in an instant. I think that kids and adult collectors would really love to see Vader's helmet made, and just to complete the Imperial collection would just be awesome. I just think, for sure, Darth Vader, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, but yeah, Darth Vader, number one, for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I can make some more of these uh, lists in the future. I don't know what to do. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments uh, below. But yeah, I'd love to see your ideas. I'd love to see your thoughts. Tell me what which helmet you would like to see made the most. I'm very interested. It just, yeah, I'd like to see other people's opinions. But uh, anyway, yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, go check out some other LEGO videos. Uh, hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. And uh, as always, peace.